electricity is the movement of charged atomic particles called electrons. Moving electrons create the drama and power of a lightning strike. They also light up your room when you flip the switch. A battery is a chemical device designed to create the force needed to move electrons. Conductors, usually metals like copper, provide a path for the electrons to flow on. Electrons have a negative charge. They travel out of the minus end of the battery and are attracted to the plus end. Touch a metal conductor to each end of a battery and electrons begin to flow from minus to plus. Flowing electrons are called current. Current is measured in amperes. The force moving the electrons is voltage and is measured in volts. Never connect a short wire from the minus to plus on any battery. This is called a short circuit. The conductor gets hot, you might burn yourself, and the battery quickly loses energy. The path that an electric current follows is called a circuit. This circuit has a light bulb in it. To move electricity through the bulb, we complete the circuit by touching the metal wire to each end of the battery. The wire does not get hot because the light bulb reduces the current flowing in this circuit. Electric energy changes to light energy. Slowing things down, we can see that once the circuit is complete, an electric current appears, flowing from the minus end of the battery toward the plus end. Look closely at the side of a typical AA battery and you will find a capital letter V or the word volts, preceded by a number, usually 1.5. Voltage, or volts, is a measure of the force moving the electrons. It is safe to touch an AA battery because 1.5 volts is a low voltage, not enough to give you a shock. High voltage is dangerous. Never experiment with anything that plugs into a wall outlet. Another important quantity related to electricity is current. Measured in amperes, current tells us the rate that electrons are flowing at. Ampere is often abbreviated to amps. Electrons are very tiny. One amp means that this many electrons flow through the circuit per second. That's 624 with 16 zeros, a huge number. One ampere is the current flowing through a typical flashlight. The other videos in this presentation explain batteries and show how to construct two different types of batteries using common materials. Follow the links on the menu.